All right, uh, if you're putting this kit together, you're going to be changing this capacitor, this one. Uh, you're going to be changing this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, they aren't polarity sensitive, but this one are. This one is. Uh, you'll be changing that cap also. This is Q2. This is Q1. Now, please note that the originals are not EBC like ours. They're different. And, um, and you'll have to check the schematic for the notation, but th that type of transistor is no longer around, so we're giving you a more modern one. The, um, uh, the extra capacitor for like the 100 picofarad for Q1 is sorted on the bottom of the board. This, uh, there's a uh, 330 or 100 that can be soldered across base to collector on Q2 if you have hiss and of course there's another capacitor that can be soldered across the quarter inch output jack or the volume control if you still have a problem with that but in any case uh, you will begin by taking the capacitors out one by one and, um, and then um, after they, they are removed replacing them with the new ones out of the kit uh, do the transistors last um, they're heat sensitive, so be careful when you're soldering them in. Now if after you're done you're still getting hiss, the first thing you're going to do is put 100 picofarads across the 8.2 and uh, we're going to turn the unit off for that. and. Uh, we're going to place that across base to collector and in this particular case that's base right here and this is collector right here you can tax order it in, it is not necessary to uh, go through a great deal of trouble to get that put in You can hear the difference already. Uh, we are picking up a slight residual hum, but that's due to our light. If we turn the light off, you see that goes away. 